the greater sum also. Kung meron man, kailangan may dependency sa application. So, ganun. Ganun yung nakikita ko. Um, ito yata nasagot na kanina. Uh, is it possible to break into cybersecurity if non-tech related yung degree na natapos mo? Would certifications and online courses be enough to break into this field? Or if need ng degree, ano pong degree ang need i-take? So, siguro mabilisan lang. Uh, nasagot naman na natin. Definitely, yes. Kahit anong degree yan, doesn't matter. As long as you're willing to learn it, and gusto mo talaga na mag-shift sa cyber security, yung passion, go for it. Yung certificates, certificates na ako before, okay lang yan. Tabi mo lang yan. Kasi ano lang yan. Achievement mo rin yan. Personal achievement mo rin yan. Basta, ito ah. Sige, ito. Para ano. For those guys that who wants to shift on cyber security, but, ah, uh, Ah, uh, yung confidence, yung parang they are they will they ask themselves na kung may degree, degree ba kailangan or ano ba yung yan. I would say, di kailangan ng degree. Kahit kung sa ka, mat, BS, mat, physics, uh, chemistry, uh, bio, or and uh, HR ka pa, as long as you're willing to learn about cybersecurity and you're willing to study a lot about it. Especially na yung age kasi natin right now, yung age lalo na sa mga uh, early 20s going to going up. Medyo ano tayo sa learning na, medyo nag-explore tayo on what we should do in life. Actually, may mga kakilala ako na nag-HR sila, nagpunta sila ng tech. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, common, Best example. Common, common ano yan, common uh, ano sa mga na- nakakapasok ng tech. Hindi talaga kailangan. Mm-hmm. Oo, oh, 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 may mga companies na nare-require yan. But in general, hindi talaga. Yeah, actually. May mga companies naman kasi na nagtatanong kung may mga certifications ka tinake for some security. Pero kasi for, ano, plus points na lang yun eh. Yung certifications sa yan. Ang mahalaga kasi yung experience mo during that time. And ano yung mga natutunan mo. And na-apply mo ba yung mga natutunan sa previous company. Or what not. Yun. Yan lang yung masasabi ko. So, I guess pati yung question ni Bombs related. So, hindi ko na natin nila tanong yan. Yeah, um, yeah, sure. Your living, your living nightmare. Uh, yung question niya is, okay po ba mag-start muna sa web dev then di pa sa cybersec later on? Since kailangan ko din makatuto, makatuto magbasa o makaintindi ng programming languages. Or diretso na po ako mag about cybersecurity? Uh... Recommended, yes. Kung, lalo na kung graduate ka ng ComSci. ComSci IT, IS. Information Systems. I recommend na mag-web dev ka kasi mas marami ang vulnerabilities ng web kaysa sa apps. Yes. Or, or uh, well, actually, both naman marami. Marami, marami. marami. It's just that, uh, depends on the, ano. Uh, Pwede ka mag-aral ng web dev, yes. That, that's a, that's a big help, actually. Tapos, from web dev, if you will jump to cyber security, possible na maglilining ka sa web, secu- web security. Yun yung matasa lining. Pero, yeah. you can. You can study web dev. It's a plus point thing. Kasi, ang programming language kasi na nandoon is JavaScript, PHP, and PHP has a lot of vulnerabilities, I would say. Oh. Go lang. Old, old tech, eh. Yeah, Dart, which is yung gamit in the programming language ng Flutter, at saka many more. Actually. How, ano yun, how, how crucial is it to have expertise in particular languages? Or mm. certain patterns lang ang kailangan mong malaman? Basic to intermediate sa o pawa kung Java, magaling kang Java, tas magja-jump ka ng cyber sec. At least at least basic to intermediate ka lang. Yun yung uniformly na ano, uh, skate para sabi ko na hindi naman minimo para masasabi ko na you're good, you're good sa cyber sec. Kasi ako uh, pumasok pa po junior ako noon eh. So basic PHP na yung natutunan ko no, no, that time. So, and nag-jump also yung cyber security that time. And I was like, okay, I think, I think I can learn. I can learn more. 
So yung question ni Carlito about roadmaps na answer natin kanina, uh, scroll up na lang pag kundi, kundi mo nakita yung link may link na binigay si Pidge. Um, ito, uh, related na question. May programming po ba sa cyber security? How, how okay. is it? Do you really program? Okay. Let me answer this question. Kung gusto mo mag reverse engineering, go for uh, assembly Assembly language. Why? Man, basically, manwares are are uh, programmed using C, and you need to uh, and you need uh, for you to read the executable files. You need assembly as well. You need as you need assembly to parse every executable files in the man mismo na exe file. And from there, pwede ka na reverse engineering. Yon assembly C. Yes. At saka C, C or C++, that, that will do. For C or C, C, kaya ko sila sabi C or C++, kasi nandun lahat yung modern, lahat, lahat has ng malware doon gawa. Mm. I, not all, but some. And yes, assembly, masakit siya sa ulo. Yeah. Lalo na kung wala kang tiyaga mag-aral ng assembly. For those na mga nag-aral ng uh, assembly before, ng college nila. I think mararamdaman nyo to. Masakit siya sa ulo. Yeah, jump scare. I would agree, uh, I would agree with Carlito. To the point na means may mga sujante din saksit bumabot sa akin kasi sobrang pina. Bigat, bigat. Yeah, mabigat. Python? Uh, no, not that much. C, C, C++ at saka assembly talaga. Yung, yung ano. Siguro kung gagawa ka ng optimization programs, you can go on any languages na makaka-help sa cybersecurity. Yeah, you can go. You can go. Question ni RCB. Can cybersecurity be applied on freelancing? Oo nga, may freelancing opportunities ba? Meron. Meron. Marami. Marami. Punta ka sa Upwork. Punta ka sa freelancer.com. Punta ka. Search ka sa internet. Ah, eto pala. Pag nakaano kayo, pag naka-NDA kayo sa company, I would suggest wag wag nyo, wag kayo kukuha ng freelancer na cyber side. Kasi ano yan, pagki-conflict of interest. Lalo na kung nagka-trabaho kayo sa corporate. Kung ano kayo, kung ano ah, kung nagtatrabaho kayo full-time sa corporate, tapos gusto niyo mag-freelance sa cyber side. Ididiscourage ko na kayo. Baka mahuli kayo. Hmm. ng employers niya. Nasa kontrata eh, no? Yeah, contract. Contract sums up. Iba na lang. But, yeah. Ano na lang yung sideline mo? Wordpress? Uh, web dev? Oh, dev. Uh, ganyan. Worth it po. Di ko alam kung anong ibig sabihin nito. Worth it po ba gumamit tayo ng HTB VIP Plus? Ay, hindi ko rin alam yan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sembi. Uh, siguro pakilinaw. Uh, pakilinaw na lang yung context or, or siguro binigyan nyo na lang muna kami ng context on what that is so that uh, we can try to answer that stuff Jack Donald uh, yung tanong mo medyo not on topic so hindi ko na muna babasahin maybe some other time uh, si, si Joff may question din kanina I think nak- natanong ko kanina yung OS for best uh, best to learn cyber security which is mm-hmm. Windows Um, can we use you uh, AI po for cybersecurity from Encrimes Toy? Definitely yes. AI has been applied on cybersecurity ever since the beginning. Sure. Yeah, actually. Kasi uh, especially machine learning. Yung mga endpoint detection response tools. Yes. And AI is being used to Uh, to fight. Actually, I agree with Joff na uh, yung patterns. Ginagamit na rin siya actually ng mga, pro- ng mga platforms na yun. And continuous yung training nila. I think they are using deep learning some of it. Pero hindi pa ako nag-develve dun sa pinaka ano mo. Sa pinaka structure nung mismo pero sure ako kaya. At may mga gumagamit na. 
definitely. Grabe, GPT. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mamaya ko sasagutin yan, Miko. Mamaya ko sasagutin yan. I think cybersecurity is one of the IT fields na may distant or at least related sa programming, di ba? Miko Lino. Definitely, yes. Meron. As I said earlier, assembly saka C. C or C++. Yan. Yan yung programming language siya. Pinakamalapit sa cybersecurity. Ah, ito. Scripting language pa pala. Sa umpisa na yun. Scripting. Well, we may by scripting, bash, sh, cmd, ibat, uh, powershell, uh, pbs. Yan. Malapit din. Yan yung malapit sa cyber sector. Honestly, yes. Yung two questions ni Joff na answer na rin natin about certification. Yamel. The... Yes, Yamel kasama. Yamel, I think, More on sa ano to? Configuration ng yan? Madalas, di ba? Yeah, config yan. Pero pwede. Yeah, pwede gamitin yan. Lalo na kapag meron kang mga platforms na may, depe- may gumagamit na YAML for uh, as configurations ng features nila. Yes, kinagamitin ng YAML. Okay, so may question sa akin. Directed sa akin. Napanood ko yung broadcast mo na di ka favor. Teka. Hindi namin ko ito ha. Hindi ako favor sa mga certificates. Like certificate of attendance, sa mga events, certificate of completion ng course. How about examination certs, CCNA, AWS, CompTIA, and uh, RENX? Mm-hmm. Uh, hindi namin ko lang ito ha. Hindi ako against sa certificates. Against ako dun sa mindset ng mga nag- 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 nagahabol ng certificates. If you're yes. getting certificates for, just for the sake of getting the certificates, don't do it. If you're after the learning, tapos may certificate na kasama, do it. Iba yun eh. Magkaiba yep. yun. Magkaiba yun. No? Wag, wag, niyong, wag niyong masyadong ina, ano yung sinasabi ko. Kasi marami nagagalit eh. About that eh. Parang anti-certificate daw ako. Hindi ako anti-certificate. I am anti-certificate um, yeah. na hindi maganda about around the certificates. Di ba? Don't go certificate. Kasi ang um, learning ang abulin mo. Yep, that's true. Tsaka, it's isa pa rin guys, ko, what, uh, I agree with creative, creative ones of them. Yan ko lang na. Kasi kapag nagsa-certification ex, uh, certification exam ka rin, tapos uh, iba yung goal mo, more chances kasi nagtatapong ka rin ng pera mo. Literal, nagsaya ka ng effort mo, oras mo, pera mo, tapos mag, in the end, mag-re-retake ka. Paano kapag yung pinang-re-retake? Yung instead na pinag-re-retake mo na certification exam, is iyan naman nila sa family mo or any other important matters. Sayang, sayang Yun. talaga, sayang. And I've had, in, ano, nag-interview ako ng mga applicants, ha, yan, nabigay sila certificate, certificates, kung nari, Angular. And they can't back it up. Parang sayang. Nagsayang ka ng oras dito, bayad ka para dito, wala kang mapakita sa akin. So, para saan ito pinag-uusapan natin, di ba? So, yeah. it's not about the certificates. It's about the learning. Oo, lagay mo sa resume mo yan. Kung makakatulong. Makikita ng mga HR and every, uh, kung sino man yung recruiter. But at the end of the day, you have to perform dun sa interview. Mm-hmm. You have to prove That's true. na you're worth that certificate. So if, mm-hmm. if, if, if your mindset is not in the right place, talagang you, you will fail. And the corporate world is very cruel for that it's again. Mm-hmm. I would say. Kasi... Uh, nakita ko na yun sa ibang tao. Like, I I think that was one time na kwento yung mas ba na may in-interview siya, tapos may certification siya, hindi niya mabaka. <laughs> yung, 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 sobrang nakakatakot. Yan ang mindset. Oo. Yun nga eh. Parang ano pa eh, it will work against you pa. Kasi, nalim nga, pagka nagpap na, nakakita ko ang certificate na you put it front and center sa resume mo. talagang ta- i-grill kita doon kasi sinabi mo magaling ka dito eh, di ba? Oh. So... Kasi, kasi ko ako yung, uh, uh, ano, on my place, pag sinabi mo sa akin na, na may certification na ganito, hindi na tayo mag-uusap na ano, ititectical kita agad. Mm. Ano yung, saan mo ginamit to at paano mo siya ginamit? Yun yung itatanong ko sa'yo. Pag ganun yung ano ta. Tapos magbibigay na ako sa runners kung paano mo kaya-handle. Ganito, ganyan, ganyan. 
and what will happen kapag hindi mo hinandle yung ganito. Mga mga worst case scenario things. So be sure, be sure talaga pagka hinabol yung certificate, mm. you can back it up. Yun lang naman. Yun lang naman na akin. Oo. Yun lang ang akin. At yun din yung, at yun din yung reason, and I, I think para lahat tayo ito mag-aagin. Whether we like it or not. And I and I agree with uh, Job said dun sa ano, uh, said it's a second piece of message. Yeah. I agree on that. You can't, you don't, uh, uh, that's not assume certi- na bad yung, na yung certificates is bad. It's actually good. It's actually nice. Kasi ano yan eh, one of the, I would say, powerful tools para makapasok sa corporate. Yeah. If nagagamit mo siya ng maayos and napapractice mo siya. So yeah. May ano yan eh, parang may mga analogy sa anime yan. Bigyan ka ng malaking malaking yan. May powerful sword ka di walang gamitin. So, <laughs> parang saan ka. Mm. <laughs> yeah, true. That's so true. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Um, may magandang tanong si Oragon. Uh, what are the most common types of cyber attacks and how can they be prevented? Um, okay. Personally, DDoS. Sa, sa word, DDoS. Meaning, uh, distributing, distributed denial of service. Meaning this, sabihin natin, may isa akong machine. Ay, isa lang yun. Uh, sabihin, meron ako 500 machines. na uh, malicious yun tapos may ita-target ako na website so for example sige, in the simple terms para mas madali for example, si Kuya Dev nagbebenta siya ng programs niya nagbebenta siya ng system niya sa uh, sa public eto, may isang customer siya nagdala siya ng mga minions niya so niya sa mga, yung customer na to nabi niya sa mga minions na tara, punti rin natin itong Kuya Dev tapos, ang ano lang tayo ng items na Aabot sa point na si Kuya David, hindi nga niya madi, ano, sa sobrang dami ng bumibili ng products niya. Yung mga good customers niya, yung mga, custom, yung mga ibang customers si Kuya David, hindi na baka bili kasi wala na. Definitely, either busa yung stock or hindi na niya kaya kasi parado na yung transactions. So, yun. Yeah, ac- yeah actually, I agree din. Uh, social engineering, delegado. Delegado siya kasi... Ah, uh, ito yung madalas na nabubudol eh. Uh, 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 mga nabubudol ng bibigay ng parang ganito. Sa social engineering kasi, diyan pwede pumasok lahat ng klase ng attack eh. Phishing attacks, phishing, ransomware, ransomware attacks. DDoS pwede actually pumasok diyan. Depende kung kano katinik yung attacker na yun. So basically, pag sa social engineering kasi, Parang kakausapin, eh, ikaw-convince ka na na ano yun na, oy, parang nanalo ka ng isang million kahit hindi, wala ka namang ano, wala ka namang tinayaan. Na loto or sinalian na contest, ganyan. Parang pang-akit pa. And sadly, uh, Geoff, uh, uh, correct me if I'm not. Madalas ang, madalas ang target na social engineering or older people, or elder people, elderly people, mga matatanda. Kasi syempre kasi parang Uh, they will assume na okay, ito, ito, ito. Most of them. But, yeah. but that can be prevented if they will be educated properly. If all of us will try, uh, will try our best to educate our parents and elderly people na hindi dapat tayo magpasama-sama tapaniwala sa kung saan saan. Yeah. Actually, it's the oldest form of attack eh, na well, kahit hindi sa tech kasi ginagawa siya offline. Diba? Matawag sa phone, diba? It's, it's ano, so, minagay mo lang sa cyber, uh, or sa digital space. Cyberspace. Oh, cyberspace. Uh, it's, it's the same. Yeah. It's, it's about, you know, human connection eh. eh pag yun ang inatake mo talaga, iba, iba yun. It's very sticky pa. Yeah, very, yeah, super. Ah, uh, yeah, mga in- Indian scam companies. Oh. Yes, that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, I forgot. I have a uh, may pinapanood ako na YouTube channel na yung mga yung ma- may uh, American guy. Kaya target niya yung mga ayun si Scammer Payback. Yes. Good, good job ano. Si good good job Marshmallow. Paganda niya nagawa niya. Why? 
Instead na ito, ang, ang gagawin ni Scammer Payback, i 